I can run! There was nowhere to run. Good morning, welcome to another episode on the Project WRX. I'm just waiting on some food and then we're going to go and we're doing a radiator upgrade today so that the thing doesn't overheat so much when it's on the track and then I won't be so nervous about battering it. Done, got our snacks, got our milkshakes. Time to go meet Dave, let's go. There's some fantastic old people driving going on up here. Driving around with their all of their interior lights on. The door is open and he's got a vape in one hand and a mobile phone in the other. Good job, old guy. So Dave was just telling me here that you don't actually have to remove the front bumper. I thought we were going to have to rip this whole thing off. But, almost my good snorkel. I just, fed, I just fed that! Radiator slots out, right? Bape, bape, bape. There's a bape in the bottom. Those two bolts. There are no bolts at the bottom of it? Nope. Just slots into slots. Uh, so the under tray's coming off. What? So we get to the bottom pipe. Oh, is the bottom pipe so that we can hold, like, drain it? I don't we get out of it? No, the radio's right attached to the bottom pipe. There's top pipe, bottom pipe, in there. Right. Is it down there? Right, so that under tray's got to go. Yes. Beautiful. Ta-da! I can actually see your face you through can that. see through it. That's mm. weird. So that is pure aluminium, yeah? That is pure aluminium. Well, I might just pure aluminium. What is it? It's a radio. Cool. Uh, I can't even remember where it came from. Uh, it's been that long. <laughs> it's been that long. It's been in there for a uh, DPD respec respec performance in Sheffield, whoever they are. And ballpark, how much did that cost? You, you get a discount for buying two. Two hundred and something. Fuck. That's or I fucking can't remember. Must be. That's that money. Look at those lovely welds. Look at them. They're nice. They're done by a man. Are they ha hand welded? Oh, it's it? hand welded. Yeah. Someone, someone, someone loved this radiator. <laughs> someone knows how to take. Entree, two bolts. Yeah, uh, two bolts at the front, and then weird clips at the back. And cable ties because the clips are missing. Oh yeah, I can see I've got clips there. Uh, but yeah, every I think every under tree in the world has at least one cable tie on it. Maybe I could get like race spec blue cable ties, so that when I eventually crash this car and flip it upside down, people will go, "Wow, look at those cool blue cable ties!" Oh, nice Tonka truck, by the way. That's uh, Dave. What just fell out of my car? A seal of some kind. Uh. 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 If anyone has any idea what that is, uh. let us know in the comments below. Oh. Oh. Escape. It fell on your head there. Oh, no, is it cable. another cable it's tie? Another cable tie. See the spongy madness that's on the top of that? Do you think we can pull that out to stop it retaining I absolutely water? Yes. Since we've got it off anyway. So that front cross member, that's what yeah, rusts. That's what rusts. Because of the sponge! Well, yeah, that seems like a bit of a dumb thing. You keep a sponge up pressed next to your metal. While this is off, I'm going to pull off this nasty spongy sound dead in because all it does is soak up water. Show the nice people, if you can. That's fine. Show the nice people! Drain hole, or drain bung, and the uh, valve for it's on the right hand side of the picture. And this side is the hose. One hose and hose clamp. ta -da! I it's just noticed bit, I've got little bit stoppers bit on the... Now. Little stoppers on the front anti-roll bar. So those, uh, stop it slipping laterally. Probably about £50 this thing. Probably. They're probably solid gold. <laughs> they fucking better be, given the price they cost it. Right, okay, uh, draining time? Draining time. Stand back, close your mouth. Oh, nice bucket. Good bucket. Let's put the hose in the bucket. The hose is in the bucket. I thought that was a fairly good thing to... I, I made a, a, a wild guess that that's where it belonged. So you open that, and that's to save just popping the hose off and tipping it everywhere. Water everywhere. Well, uh, it's started to drain from the end of that valve. 
So it's not really drained from the hose, but oh well, so the drain plug is choked. Yeah. Drain plug is gubbed. I might need a bigger bucket if I'm honest. Certainly one with that. Well, no. Ah, it stinks. I'm getting dribbled on from all sides. Sorry. Okay, that was me. <laughs> why, why is it pissing out all along the front and not through the drain hole? Hey, mine came out of the drain hole, which was nice of it. Oh wait, is that some, some, some is now coming out of the hose, can confirm. Yeah. More is coming out of the bong now. Oh, it fucking stinks, David. Is it? Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know that there's anything I can do about that. Sure. Is it a bucket or a... It's alright, I'll do it. Oh, lock in the place, come on. You know you want to. Or not, in case maybe. These clips are just the worst. They're sort of a good idea. If you never have to remove them. And if they actually lock like they're supposed to, but they don't, so... Oh yeah, because it's got a little clip in it, it's supposed to lock it open. Yeah, but it doesn't, so... Just... Oh! Oh, how I want. That's a surprise. You'll do your best. Is this one much the beast? No, it should be. Top of the engine should be drained by now. That is the face of someone enjoying his work. Get half. Ta-da! I can run! There was nowhere to run. At least it's warm. You look like you're enjoying yourself. I think. If I pee myself now, nobody will notice. No one will know. No one will know. Blissfully unaware. Alright, there's also... Although if it was that colour, you'd have a serious medical issue. Other serious it's medical issues. Possible. Oh, it does look much better than the old one. It looks legit. Looks like we're ready for drifting. So Dave, what are you doing with the angle grain? Oh, it's because your bolts are too long. I'm going to chop them down a bit. Right. I thought you were going to take that to my new radiator. It was a bit no, too... No, no. Not yet. I'll try not to fire sparks or bits of bolt at you. I'll try. Tell you what, from a safety perspective, that's pretty dangerous. I've got fucking face protection, mate. Your goggles on. That's the sort of thing we're not supposed to wear gloves when you angle grinding. If anyone knows the rules about gloves and angle grinding, write it in the comments below. Because you get caught in it. No, but you wear like chop gloves, like special ones, blade stoppers or something I've like got that. Got them, so. Two fans. Five bolts, onto the new one. These fans have to be plugged in. They are fairly essential. Ten points if anyone can name. Eclipse, Eclipse Performance. Is it? That's what it was. It? So they did me a service and a remap and didn't bother to plug my coolant fans back in. And we nearly baked it. So I'm going to this is run 120 degrees, it's looking a little bit hot today. It's because he didn't bother to plug the fucking fans in. And he left me with an airlock. Supposed to be Subaru specialists. Yeah. Naming and shaming. Naming and shaming. Okay. So. <laughs> Stuff that back into position. Ding! That was a satisfying noise. Can confirm. Uh, is that, so that, that last, the top pipe there, is that the feed to the engine or from the engine? <sighs> uh, well, it's, logically it's most likely to, to pump from the bottom. To, that's to the radiator, I think. 
Yes, that's to the radiator. If anyone knows, <laughs> type in the comments below. <coughs> is that last pipe going to the radiator or from the radiator? We susp oh wait, no, there's a fucking arrow on it. From, that from that's from the radiator then. Yes. Okay. The arrow. Yes. <laughs> has given that us that actually makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. See, I thought it would have gone from the bottom, so that you know, even if there was a hole, it, like the last dregs would supply the engine before it died. Uh, lost my pliers. Got to keep changing camera angle because you know the internet says that's useful. The YouTube Creative Creator Academy told me that we need to move all the time. Do we? Apparently so. Also, we need to Hop not say. Leg. We also need to not say a whole bunch of swear words. Hop on one leg. Fuck that. We can't say fuck. Yep. Uh, what else? Those cunts can kiss my ass. Can't say that. Can't say the C word, the A word, the F word. Is there a pair of water pump pliers somewhere? What kind of water pump pliers? God, fuck these fucking ones here. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't say that. For example, I just said the word shit. I just said it again. Disney won't sponsor a video that says shit in it. Uh, or those fucking pliers. I don't want fucking Disney sponsoring it anyway. Fuck. Well, there you go. Sorry, fucking Disney. Right. As instructed, I bought concentrate. concentrate. So just if you're if you if if like me you buy absolutely everything from Amazon, they do sell two identical bottles of antifreeze. One is five litres of ready to use and one it's is five litres of concentrate. And since it's half water anyway, don't buy the ready to use, otherwise Dave will punch you in the neck. Which is what I think he was gonna to do to me. That's a that's a giant funnel hole. So what, it just comes with a kit that has all the different sizes you can use. Oh, fastest coolant refill ever. Now David has just pointed out that this is taking way more coolant than the normal one. How much do you reckon is going to go in here? I don't know. So the standard... I don't, I don't have a tape measure but I'm going to use my finger. 26 millimetres thick. The new one is... 52? Wow, it's double the, the bit thick. <laughs> the, fuck! That's so much thicker I can't even use, I can't even speak! So here's the thing I've noticed that my old radiator did not do. That, that is almost too hot to touch. <laughs> and we've only just turned it on. Yeah. I'll tell you what Dave, I'm gonna let you do this because under tray reattachment isn't particularly interesting and this video is already about 45 minutes long.